Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this. Yes, it is the same bat time, it's the same bat channel. Actually, it's the same rocket man, it's the same rocket channel. This is the Batman 66 Two-Face, which doesn't actually say on the front of the box. Oh, it's been on the back there, there we go. So it does say Two-Face on there. We have the artwork from the comic books that they've done. Uh, I picked this up in my local Forbidden Planet. I, I hate going to the Forbidden Planet, they're just... Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> you go in sometimes, they have stuff, you gotta buy it. There we go. So yes, um, this Two-Face, as you probably know, was never in... They had False Face, but they never had a Two-Face in the original 66 series. This was in the uh, animated series. They did, they did two, didn't they? Before the sad passing of Adam West. They did, yeah, two of them. One of which was this, which had William Shatner voicing the legendary Two-Face, which I didn't think would have worked back in the day. He would have made a good, a good Two-Face. So yeah, we have a flip, flippable coin there. I'm intrigued to see if it has. I've always been a little bit uh, with the. I do you not. Know, there's usually a couple of them kicking around next to the filming desk because they have an habit of falling on the floor. But I can't actually see any. At the moment, but yeah, well, it's a bit eh with what they put in there, but this this does look interesting. I like the artwork on the back, distributed by Bandai in the UK. Um, because as I've said a lot in the NECA figures, not every action figure is only released in America. I know these are going to be Target exclusives, but here in the UK, we get them everywhere. So, pop that off there. And we can come up with a packet reasonably tidily. Yes, there we go. And slide him out with the coin as well. I do like the artwork on there. The front of the box is just very generic. They, they just use the same print for every one. I am intrigued to see if the... Oh, yes, the coin has... I do have somewhere um, a replica of, of the one from... Two Faces is one of my favourite... Is my favourite... Uh, bat villain. And I do have a, a replica of the one from the first movie that he appeared in. But I like that. That is a nice, nice version of the coin. Freedom uh, in something we trust. What did it say? In Heroes We Trust. 1929. Yeah, it is one of the plastic, but yeah. Nice. So, very simple packaging in there. He has a couple of little tides to hold him in there. Let's pop. Yeah. So yes, like I said, uh, Two Face is one of my favourite. Is my favourite battle villain. Um, I I do like the I, the first film he was in was not really my Two Face. Uh, the second film, I think the Joker steals the show in that one. Oh, and Cat was pretty good, but I just don't, I don't know. It didn't work for me. But this figure is definitely a good version. Let's see if we can get more light on that. Move the camera forward a bit. Because I was filming the Predator and... Ooh, well, that one because that's now yeah the predator and um freddy the other day i had to move the camera around to get more scale on them so let's have a close-up of the face yeah i like it he's definitely that's definitely a good two-face and there is his burnt side and there is his good side Black suit on one side. The suit is rubber, so it has some maneuverability to it. Black suit down one side. Um, I would say it's kind of pink. It's the Joker. It's like the Joker purple. Orange shirt. Yeah. I'm trying to think that's a slightly different colour than that to me, but that's, that could just be me. Uh, the wrist is not turnable. I was thinking because he's got kind of a a slightly forward facing wrist. Let's see, articulation wise, I'm up, all the way around, down, elbow, 
Oh, they always ratchet them, does McFarlane? There we go. So yes, you've got kind of a... I suppose that's the coin flipping hand, isn't it? That would be the version of him to flip the coin. You could imagine the coin like sitting on there. Well, not this coin, because this coin's too big. But yeah, you could imagine the coin sitting on that hand to flip it. Hmm. This that wrist doesn't move either. That hand does have a slight gun holding sort of thing to it, but not too obvious that it was not. You know, because none of these figures are allowed to have weapons or have weapons with them. Can't think why. Uh, leg wise, up to there, knee, pretty good. Yeah, I do like as well that the, the pattern on the suit, there is a pattern on it. I don't even see it, but there is a pattern on the suit and it does go on to the knees. So that's nice. His shoes, definitely sort of winkle picker kind of shoes. Very of the 60s. Yeah, the suit. I like the pattern on the suit. It's... I don't know to say what kind of pattern it is. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments underneath what kind of suit it is. The head has kind of a tilt either way. We'll go all the way around, obviously. The neck doesn't move with it, so it does look a bit weird when you do that. Because it's got like the half-painted neck in there. But I'm probably going to just... Standing like that. Does he stand? Yeah, he stands pretty well. The feet are not manoeuvrable, but there is some swivel in the knee, which is nice. So that means you can move the foot out a little bit. I'm kind of irritated with myself now because they had Egghead and King Tut. And I, I didn't pick them up. I was so excited to see this guy that I was like, no, oh, brilliant, I'm going to have him. And I, when I got home, I was like, why did you not buy Egghead and King Tut? But mm, but yeah, I, I, I like it. I think it's a nice, uh, definitely a nice looking figure. I think that is a really good, really good version of the Two-Face. The, the skin, yeah. I've gone for the green with this one. I always think green is probably my favourite. I like as well that there's the little bit of flesh on the nose there. Going through. And the eye's red as well. Yeah. Hmm. What colour do you think Two Faces face should be? I, I always think kind of a green colour. I think in the original comics I read as a kid, he was green. Uh, right, so just out of interest, he comes in at six inches. Oh, man down. Or oh, around the 15 centimetre mark, 15 and a half centimetres. So yeah. Right. Um, which is the rule of falling over. We have a Batman who is kind of weird. They stand fine on my shelf, but when I bring them over here to film, they're wobbly. He's a little bit short. We have the Boy Wonder, who is definitely a bit short. We have the Joker. Like I said, the suit is a very similar colour. Maybe a little bit more purple. And then we have the penguin. I would say the penguin was never one of my favourite characters, but I do like this version of him. <coughs> um, I have done reviews on here, by the way, of, let me look, the Eartha Kit Catwoman and the Riddler as well. But yeah, if this gets enough views, I will try and pick up a Egghead and... Um, King Top. I must admit, King Top was never one of my favourite characters in the in the episodes, but the figure looked fantastic. They didn't have many of them either. I have seen the back boat. The bat boat is up for pre-order on uh, some of the websites I go on. So yeah, but yeah, this this I I really like this. I know Robin's cape's wrong, and and maybe some of the articulation's not brilliant, and they are smaller figures. But I would have loved these back. I'm not going to say back in 66, but I would have loved these in my childhood. These were figures I really wanted. And this is, this is again, this is the thing that that um, Hasbro miss out on sometimes. Uh, like with the Dungeons and Dragons figures. Yes, they've done a retro style, which these have got retro style to them. But they've still, they've still made something that looks cool. And I look at that and I go, wow, 
That is a child I would have loved as a kid. So yeah, definitely. Heads or tails? So, heads or tails, are you gonna subscribe? Or not subscribe? I uh, drop down the floor. Um, please subscribe, because it really would help the channel. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, me and Two-Face, we're gonna go off and, uh, well, I don't know, we're not gonna rob banks or anything, are we? But yeah, oh, that, it's really stiff ratcheting on these. Yeah, I like it. This is definitely going to be... It's funny, I was looking the other day thinking I'm, I'm going to have to move around my 66 shelf because it kind of spaced out a little bit between all my other DC characters. But I think, I think now is going to be the time to have a 66 shelf. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And I will see you all same rocket time. Same rocket channel. Bye now.